सित पर अरचाए तो रुख मोड़ दे तूफान का तुमने तेवर ही कहा देखे तिरंगे के दीवानों का आसमानों में उड़ने की ख्वाहिश हम सबकी होती है पर उसे हासिल करना और वो भी अपने तिरंगे के लिए बहुत कम ही ऐसे कर पाते हैं हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एस एस बी क्रैक टॉक्स आई एम अनुराधा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वेलकम आर गेस्ट मिस्टर हेमंत स्वामी अ फ्यूचर फाइटर पायलट who has qualified his nda at the very first attempt has also got recommended from ssp also on his very first attempt and now he is going to join nda after which he is will be going for the indian air force training to be a fighter pilot so let's talk with him and let's know what his experience has been while he has qualified his nda as well as his ssp interview at the very first attempt Hi Hemant how are you Hello I'm fine Okay great So first of all I want to congratulate you on behalf of SSB crack uh, exams uh Thank you so much Hi Hemant how are you Hello I'm fine So welcome to SSB crack talks First of all I want to congratulate you for this brilliant success that you have got and not only that you have for the very first time cracked your nda exam as well as well as also got recommended from the ssb and you are going to join the nda very soon right so how yes, are you feeling yes. after getting recommended in your very first attempt the feeling is great the amount of hard work which i put in two years that was completely worth it and i just pray to god that my hard work and whatever i i have sacrificed in the journey was worth and that's what i it's a great feeling okay so your parents and friends how did they react on the result day when they came to know that you are in firstly i when i when i got recommended the first thing is i called my dad and i told him that finally i got selected and he knew that i was confident enough and i had great communication skills he had complete confidence that i would uh, get recommended so he was happy as well as he was not that shook when i told to my mother she was completely she was full of joy she was uh, roaming around her distributing sweets and uh, coming to my sisters i got two elder sisters and they were the main key uh, i would say ki they were the person behind my entire uh, practicing with whom i did they were very very happy we had put work together in my preparation we used to discuss a lot of things together regarding my personality development so even they knew that i was well prepared and the result was in our favor so obviously they were very happy to coming to my friends uh, my friends were having a bit less knowledge about indian the defense related exams as i live in south so they knew when i went and explained them to this to them he this is this way the procedure is quite tough so they were also amazed that i was able to crack this in the first attempt and they were really happy for my success okay lovely so we already get a different kind of joy when our loved ones are also so uh, you know joyful about our own success so that's a different kind of thing altogether so uh, my next question will be how you got motivated for joining defense or the armed forces so in my childhood from from my childhood itself i wanted to be a pilot so as i grew up i came across internet i started surfing the web and i started researching more about how can a person be a pilot so regarding regarding the search i came across a thing called nda so when i search a bit more about that that i got to know that nda is a quite a tough exam i would say but you can be a fighter pilot in the indian air force at just 12th after just completing your 12th so i was like ki this is the greatest opportunity which i can get to pursue my dream i searched some more about this and when i came in my 11th i was like completely dedicated towards this ki i just want to do i would just want to do this i am not going to go to any other field or anything so i just kept motivating myself ki the study and amount of hard work which i am going to put now will help me achieve my dream which i saw as a child so that was my motivation and all together i knew that ki if i am able to make as a pilot i can serve to we uh, can serve for my country and i can work, work with some great brave heart i would say so that was also a kind of motivation which pushed me to work even more harder this way i kept myself motivated 
Okay, great motivation, uh, Hemant. So my ne next question will be, why you wanted to go for the Air Force only? Why not the other branches of the services that we have? Okay, the answer, I would say the same again. As I wanted to be a pilot, that is the same thing. But I also wanted to be a fighter pilot. And we know that there are aviation in Army and Navy, but the Air Force, one, Air Force aviation, aviation attracts me more because they have a lot of great options and the great aircraft which they possess are at a different incredible level. So that, like I was really fascinated toward the aircraft, I would say. So I pursued toward the Air Force over the other. I would deny that the other forces are less. They are great in their own uh, areas. But Air Force was which was I was a bit more fascinated about that, so I pursued it. Okay, so this brings to the next question, which I will obviously ask since you're so fascinated with Air Force. Which is your favorite fighter jet? Okay, so this might be shocking for some people, but my favorite aircraft is not a fighter one; it's a transport vehicle. It is the Boeing C-17 Globemaster, which is the biggest uh, transport aircraft which india possesses the reason which i am oh, oh, like i like that over any other fighter is due to the enormous size and the capacity which it can handle and coming to the fighter there are multiple but rafale as we know it's a new one that is it possesses some great features so that is also in my liking list but i like c17 globemaster over the other fighter Okay, great, great. So it was shocking a bit for me. <laughs> I hope yes. it is also for the other viewers. So uh, my next question is, you cleared NDA written exam for the very first attempt, which is again, you said yourself quite a difficult exam to crack. So how you prepared for the NDA written exam? So when I entered my 11th standard, I got some of the preparation materials. I got some books and I started doing my NCRTs. I knew that key UPSC uh, syllabus comprises of in maths we know that it mostly the question comes from the 11th and 12th portion mainly and some of the 10th portion 10th portion i was cleared as i was good at maths in my 10th then i started preparing the 11th in crt and i completed as soon as the syllabus i can i completed my 11th syllabus in approximately two to three months and i started revising my math syllabus i was as we know that uh, there were covid times that time so i completed all the portions a bit prior itself and then I took my 12th NCRT and I started doing that when I was in 12th itself. This way I was able to complete the entire syllabus. So I got the basic idea that the syllabus is completed and I was revising it again and again. Then when I entered my 12th, again the third wave of the COVID hit and I got plenty of time. I was sitting at home. That way I didn't have any distraction also. I took upon the PYQs and solved around 10 to 12 year PYQ of maths. This way I was able to do a uh, NDA maths exam, I was able to prepare quite well. And I also took the help of SSB crack exams as I was the 12th appearing candidate that time, all the schools are shut and the online course was going really slow. And I wanted a video explanation, which I found that a systematic video explanation could be really beneficial for me. I took upon the course and I saw the entire lecture of mathematics from your app. I was able to do it quite in a fast manner so that I got a basic idea of the entire syllabus and I was able to do all the other stuff on my side. That was coming about to GAT. GAT as I'm a science student, social was a bit tedious job for me. Science was quite easy as it comprises morely of 8 to 10. If you're, uh, if you're well versed with the 8 to 10th class uh, science NCRT books, you can pre pretty much you can solve many of the questions. And English was quite easy as I was studying in English medium school from a long time. English was not a tough job and I was able to understand the grammar easily. I would say. Later, I'm going to do the social science again. I took up on the few, few very important chapters which are the most likely to come. And I, saw, I started completely and I memorized the entire chapter as a story. I made a timeline and I set all the characters. This way, I was not able to do all the questions of the social science, but mostly I had that much preparation that I won't leave few questions and at least I can attend a few. As maths and science were in my stronger part, social wise, can, it can be in like a moderate range. I cannot well versed in the subject, but still I was not completely negligible about that. Later coming to the current affairs, I used to watch monthly current affairs. And uh, that way I was able to solve uh, approximately two, three current affair questions which came in the exam. This way the GAT was also smooth and I was able to 
in all prepare for the written exam okay so that's a lot of systematic and organization skills on your side i would say a very organized way you studied and i think that is the key right organization and planning so that is the key for the success uh, so, so my next question is you were 12th appearing when you went for the nda examination right so how you managed the nda exam preparation along with your board exams as well so yeah i was a 12th appearing candidate and i would say that time management is the key so you need to manage this stuff properly and in a systematic manner dual board was not that tough i would say as match was i had prepared match uh, well prior of 11th to 12th I had, as i said earlier and coming to the science physics in the science part that is the physics chemistry and all that stuff uh, in boards it is a bit more tougher than the nda portion because in physics and chemistry of the boards you need to explain all the stuff and uh would memorize all the derivation so that was the thing which i did not like i did not like to memorize stuff i, I wanted to be to be more practical so chemistry was the stuff which you need to remember a lot of stuff and i didn't like that but still as i wanted to score well there was no other option i was doing that so in the day time approximately i used to get up around at 4:30 so i had a time table which allowed me to study approximately around 50 to 60 hours a day in which i took around dedicated 8 to 9 hours for nda all the nda syllabus and the rest of the time i uh, dedicated to the board portion this way i was able to okay so uh, can you just let our viewers know about your uh, daily time table and how and in what way you divided you know all the work all the preparation stuff you were doing yeah okay. so my entire what i would say time table was not a stagnant one it was very volatile and it should to change daily on the daily basis the thing was on what basis i used to study is ki how much portion i have to complete in a day a day prior i used to make a entire list to do to do list so in that if i am able to complete this much portion in the given time frame of the day it was a good and a productive day otherwise i used to sleep in that dilemma that i was not able to complete the portion and the next day i used to bounce back even more and i used to put some extra time and i used to complete that so my day started around at 3:30 to 4 or sometimes even i used to not sleep in nights when i had my practical and board exams so at uh, at around 3:30 i used to wake up and used to get fresh up and by 4:30 i was on my study bench i used to start by doing the revision of the previously what i did yesterday i used to revise it in a glimpse i had made short notes after doing that i started a new chapter i was your guys lecture and i after watching a particular lecture i used to take up the pyq book and i used to solve that pyq of the particular chapter so that key i am i get to know whether i had understand the topic or not and i used to make a list of chapters and i pasted that on wall as soon as i was able to complete a chapter i used to take it so and i used to like i get to know and that also motivated ki how much chapters are remaining i just need to complete it quickly this way approximately by i used to get up at 10 once i start at 4:30 just to have my breakfast and i used to take little bit rest and if i was not going to the college i used to sit back at home and i used to prepare little bit of boards and this way and that's what that particular day whatever i had to do in the list i used to do otherwise if i had a spare time i used to just cook something or i used to go play football this was my hobby also so that was like it kept my mind in peace also and i was not even over stressing because over stressing leads to disaster and nothing but stress my god such a calm mind you have uh, i think that's an apt mind that all fighter pilots have so <laughs> i think that's a characteristic okay so uh, as you've prepared so well in a such uh, systematic organized way for your nd examination what uh, suggestions you want to give for the upcoming nda aspirants so my suggestion would be that firstly you need to set a aim setting a aim is quite important because that is the target where you are supposed to reach if you don't have a particular aim you would divert of oh, that's a obvious manner if you don't know on the what path you are walking you are going nowhere first set a aim and set what is your and check what are your limits and what is your capability to do 
as i was a bit i was not hanging out with my friends more so i got lot of time and is i got to know that i have a sitting capacity in a short i can study for 6 to 7 hours and that too in a productive manner that i would say that as quality time so check your quality time ki how much quality time can you put in a single shot and note that and make a to do list that you have to do so you uh, uh, i would say ki just name, write down the name of the chapter you are supposed to do tomorrow that way you it can be completely if it completes early you got lots of free time and you can enjoy and also if you are able to complete it early on the day next day you put a bit more so that you don't get the spare time which you got yesterday this way i would say and if, if obviously if you want some spare time you have to complete that quickly and also if you are a 12th appearing candidate don't neglect the board portion board portion will be in your favor if you take that with the nda preparation i would not say completely dedicate your entire time to that but you can spare a bit time like around 2 to 3 hours that's not a hard thing to take out of your 24 hours and don't stress be calm and be composed and be dedicated to your aim and you have to make some sacrifices on your path but trust me that will be worth it when you are standing on the peak and you will uh, remember you you will have a nostalgia looking at the days which you have spent and that will be a great feeling okay lots of valuable advice and suggestions i think all the viewers will take this and they will also imbue themselves with these things and start the preparation so this uh, brings us to the next part of your journey which is the ssb itself so uh, tell us how you prepared for the ssb so on i guess on 14 december my result came out uh, my written result and uh, fortunately i was able to crack the written exam then on the same day as we know there are 15 official like qualities i list down the entire uh, entire oil cues in a single sheet of paper and i stuck it to the board and i deeply analyzed each oil cue for around 15 to 20 minutes and i saw the practical meaning of that oil cue and where does it come use in the real life this way i got to know the deep uh, meaning of the oil cue i would say ki you are using this officer like quality in this type of situation and later i uh, uh, googled it a bit and i got to know the entire procedure of the ssb that is the five day procedure and for the air force candidate one day extra for the cpss also so later on the day one as we know there is oir and there is ppdt for the ppdt preparation i and my elder sister we sat together and we googled some uh, blur pictures and we, we used to think over that and we used to give our own opinions and we used to also argue on the same picture ki whose team is better this way i was able to get a same picture i was able to get around five to six things and also unique things not the ordinary ones this way i had a greater range of i would say imagination ki i can imagine in this strata also this way i was quite confident about the picture what i am seeing and i was also having some great things which i am able to speak when i see a good picture this guy prepared for the ppt and for the oir i was no i didn't prepare that much for oir because i heard that oir this there are some verbal and non verbal question and verbal i was obviously prepared as i had great english i had good english command over english and on the day two we had a psychology test psychology test comprised of sd self description then we had vat tat so as i pre- prepared for pptt the tat was uh, was also a bit same like the pptt itself i would say because in that also you need to write story vat was a bit challenging in the first when i started preparing because 15 second time for a word is quite less you need to look to the word and you need to think about that and you need to write the sentence in starting i was i was not able to write a entire sentence in 30 second itself i kept increasing my speed and i uh, i was able to do that later and about coming to the srt srt also as i i would say that my handwriting is not that good so <laughs> when i used to write srts you need to write it in a speed manner so that you can complete more and more srts in the given time so when i wrote that even i was not able to understand what i had written because i just scribbled some stuff because i had that panic streak and that the time is going and i need to complete more and more srts so when i got i got lot of scolding from my elder sister she told that oh, are you going to write this way 
I I thought about that and I got to know that yeah, what she is saying that's a good thing. Then I legibly started doing, and also I got guidance from some elder people who had crack SSB, and they told that quality matters over quantity. So uh, whatever I how many even SRTs I wrote, they were the good ones, and they had some meaning behind that. So this way I was able to prepare for SRT, and for the uh, self interview, we have a. A PIQ form which we need to fill prior, and for that, for the PIQ form, I did self introspection on every column, whatever we have. Like if I have a column on the sport, I have a column on sports. Okay, what sports I play? If I write the sports, I must be prepared for each and every question that can be framed. For each question, uh, for each uh, blank, I used to think for around thirty minutes. Okay, what are the questions which can be formed? And I wrote it down those questions. Like if I'm writing football, who is your best football player? Why is your best? and anything it could be anything this way i was able to prepare for the self interview and later obviously the conference the conference uh, is the most is a tense moment in the entire selection procedure because that's the place where you go and sit in front of around 15 to 20 officers who are in the proper uniform i felt a bit hesitant when i saw them ki they it was like entirely glamorous when they have all the badges on their uniform when you look you just get so pleased that you forget all the other stuff when i went that the, the experience was different and my conference went on for around 15 seconds they just asked me a question and they let me out so this way i didn't prepare anything for the conference because obviously naturally you don't know what you can expect in the conference this way my ssb preparation went and for the cpss also Uh, as i was a sports player from the prior i had a good control between my hands and legs so that was in a plus point for me and i was able to even crack the cps test okay that's very nice very detailed way you told us about how you prepared for each and every step in ssb that is very important for all i guess so my next question is how you worked on your personality in the sense that you said you uh, did a lot of self introspection so when you started to journey for preparing ssb and when you were recommended uh, between that period of time what kind of personality improvements you could see in yourself so for the personality development i started acting like an officer before being an officer that's the thing what i did and i started thinking like what would the person who has recommended will do in this situation and i used to get evaluated at each and every step i used to take guidance like if i am deciding to write this uh, like what i would say uh, this topic and this theme on a particular picture what is my mindset behind which i am writing this i used to question myself and i used to do self introspection this way my personality improved and what to say my personality got polished as i got more and more guidance from all the educated and all the people who were experienced one so this way that uh, that key that was the key element which uh, helped me and later also i what i would say i worked on myself i improved more and more knowledge and i gained lot of knowledge because if you have knowledge you, when you have facts your argument is strong and nobody can oppose it this way also you got a self like uh, you get some confidence when you're speaking something this way also your personality gets up and you shine over other people and you have an extra edge over there when you got some facts behind what you speak so this way the personality naturally grows of a person i would say this way i work okay so the next question is specifically for all viewers out there what tips you want to give to those who want to go and uh, get recommended in their ssb attempts the tip would be that ssb is not a theoretical exam for which you can prepare ssb is entirely a personality game if you have the right amount of knowledge and knowledge in the sense that you do not have to know everything but what is important and what must a, a, a candidate should know of your age you must know that much knowledge in particular and coming to i would not say ki english is very mandatory but if you know english and you are good in the communication skill that will be a plus point and i would say if you are going for the ssb please prepare your english and build some communication skill and try to socialize with the strangers you need to have that ability to socialize and introduce yourself in others and also you must not have stage fear when you are at the ssb be bold and be confident and oh, i would say roar like a lion don't speak when you speak 
other must listen to you have that attitude and also as i said before have some facts when you speak that will obviously improve your what personality and it will give you a boost and you yourself will feel happy that whatever you are speaking you are having that confidence and nobody can argue back so this way a person can prepare and also one more thing is that key when you have when you are going to the ssb be well dressed and be a gentle person be like a gentleman and obviously you need to address everybody else as a gentleman so prepare for that also when <laughs> you need to have that ability to control your anger and control your emotion in front of other people uh, that is what i would give advice ओके माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कि आपकी ये जो जर्नी थी एनडीए uh, से स्टार्ट होके एसएसबी तक जो uh, मतलब एंड हो गया तो इस जर्नी में आपका सबसे बड़ा स्ट्रेंथ और सपोर्ट कौन थे जिनको आप थैंक यू कहना चाहते हैं uh, वैसे तो बहुत सारे लोग थे आई वुड नॉट डिनाई अदर पीपल सबने साथ में एफर्ट डाले बट कुछ खास लोग हैं जो एक्स्ट्रा स्पेशल एफर्ट्स एंड एक्स्ट्रा केयर दिया दैट इज माय एल्डर सिस्टर माय एल्डर सिस्टर played a very important key role in my recommendation kyunki hum log saath mein bahut zyada ek dusre ke sath discuss karte the and she is a very well educated and very experienced person so she was the key role and also my parents my parents never forced me to do anything unko jo unka sirf ek baat thi chahe jo karo whatever you like jisme aapki pasand ho wo karo lekin jo karo acche se karo my father said always did that and he never pressurized me That तुमको recommendation होना है तुमको अच्छे marks लाने हैं He just told me बेटा whatever you're doing पूरे अपने अपना best जो पसंद है obvious ही बात है कि बंदे को जो पसंद होगा उसमें वो अपना बट बाय बाय हुक का वो अपनी पूरी strength डाल के अच्छे से करेगा So my father was that obviously my mom I am the only son so she used to give me all the love and care she used to pamper me a lot when I was a kid. Uh, her work when I used to work uh, late nights, she also used to get got up with me, and she used to make me milk. She used to take when I used to get up at three thirty. Why? What work she would does she have at three thirty? But still, she used to wake up at three thirty, and I had seen her working for me. So that also motivated me, and the I was fortunate able uh, enough to pay her back uh, by my recommendation. So they are the key role. in my these are these people i would dedicate okay slight disagreement here i don't think as uh, children we can ever pay back what our parents do for that, us that 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 i could yes. that, that's not <laughs> okay. what i meant i i know i know i could understand so that is the you know the tears of joy they could see uh, you could see in yeah, their exactly. eyes that is the most important thing in our life totally. uh, so the next question that i have for you ki aapke ssb ke tasks mein se कौन से टास्क में आपको लगा कि सबसे ज्यादा बेहतरीन परफॉर्मेंस आप दे पाए और किस टास्क में आपको थोड़ा सा मतलब ट्रिकी लग रहा था तो मेरा बेस्ट टास्क लेक्चरेट था मैं लेक्चरेट के लिए उतना प्रिपेयर किया नहीं था लेकिन मैंने पास इतनी नॉलेज थी कि मैं कोई भी टॉपिक पे बोल सकता था लेक्चरेट मेरा बहुत स्मूथ गया आई वॉज बाई फॉर थ्री एंड थ्री एंड हाफ मिनट आई वॉज रोरिंग मेक लाइन आई नेवर स्टॉप इन मिडिल एकदम स्मूथली गया एंड ऑल्सो मैंने कुछ फैक्ट्स भी रखे थे मेरे बोलने टाइम पे आई स्पोक ऑन सोलर एनर्जी बिकॉज इट वॉज अ मॉडरेट टॉपिक आई वुड से बट मेरे पास इतना ज्यादा उसके फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर थे कि वो मॉडरेट टॉपिक भी एक हाई टॉपिक लगने लगा था सो आई वॉज रियली हैप्पी अबाउट कि मैं लेक्चर इतना अच्छे दे पाया एंड ट्रिकी तो था वेन वी हैड आर ग्रुप ऑब्स्टिकल रेस नॉट ग्रुप ऑब्स्टिकल द ग्रुप टास्क इन विच यू हैव द फटा बल्ली एंड ग्रुप उसके अंदर हमारा मेरा जो ग्रुप था वो थोड़े कॉम्पिटेटिव बंदे थे दे वेर ट्राइंग टू सुपर इम्पोज देयर आइडियाज ओवर द अदर्स तो वो थोड़ा सा उनको मैनेज करना मुश्किल हो रहा था बट मैं अपना आइडिया देता जा रहा था कुछ काम कर रहे थे कुछ काम नहीं कर रहे थे एंड थोड़ा सा स्लाइटली डिसग्रीमेंट था अग्रीमेंट था बिटवीन आर ग्रुप मेट्स तो इट वेंट स्मूथ इन लास्ट बट उस टाइम पे इट वॉज क्वाइट ट्रिकी एंड उसको हैंडल करना थोड़ा सा मुश्किल हो रहा था but still acha se gaya we were able to complete the task oh okay nice nice so this brings to the next question who is your role model my role model is field marshal sam manekshan that person uh, whenever i saw his interview 
I always felt like ki what special character this person have, I must inculcate them. So he is the different level. I respect him totally and I am a big fan of him. I would say that person is on a great level and his strong, bold speech and that will make a fan. Anybody will become a fan when he listens to him. So he is my role model. Great. I think uh, everyone respects him. Uh, he is such a very different level altogether. So the next question is uh, for us, how SSB crack exams helped you in your preparation? So SSB crack, I said, when I entered my tool, I have, there was COVID time. And as my school just started, they were going in a really slow manner. I wanted to get a video format of the entire syllabus. So I choose this course over others because then I heard that the math portion is really good. I took this course up and I went through all the uh, lecture videos of mathematics and I would say that's pure gold. I would say that's liquid gold. Uh, the the top notch quality of the videos, especially maths, I would say ki it helped me a lot. Once I was well versed with the topic of mathematics, I had the confidence that ki I can do PYQ on my own. So I was uh, watching all the lecture and everything and Baki SSB cracks math portion is really good. So, but a GAD portion was fine, but I had a better, I thought of self preparing over that because science I did at my own, but math was really good of SSB. I, it really helped me. Okay, that's really nice. Now, this is the last question I'm going to ask you. Since you recommended it, you are waiting for the academy to join. So, what are your next plans for the academy to join? Before joining the academy, I had some plans for my plans. I have mostly executed them. I am in my hometown. I am enjoying with my cousins and siblings. So, we had a lot of parties. and That was a fun time. Now, it's well. And before going to the academy, there is no such plan. But I am thinking to meet my loved ones. I'm trying to meet my some of my friends. But here if not, and I'll join the NDA. Okay, okay. So such a nice conversation with you, Hemant. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for a very, in a very short time and giving your precious moments, uh, you know, precious time to us and uh, obviously sharing your own experience and everything with us. So I wish you all the best for your upcoming bright future. May you fly you. high and be the fighter pilot that you have been dreaming from your childhood. Thank you once thank you, more. Sir. Jai Hind. Thank you so much. Jai Hind, man. Jai.